Today on the channel, we unbox the rest of the Marvel Legends Deadpool 2 action figure wave. Welcome everyone, Kyle here with another unboxing and today we're doing Deadpool 2, the new movie figures. These are starting to show up in stores, check your Targets, check your Walmarts, Cable which we reviewed, I don't know, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, how long has it been? Uh, we did the Cable unboxing of this and I found that in a Walmart, it seems like most Walmarts got that way ahead of time. I actually saw a picture from a local Walmart today that had the Cable version of this six dollars on clearance absolutely insane check your walmart you might be able to find a heck of a deal out there uh, but domino just recently released if anybody's going to clearance in this wave it's probably domino a very uh minor character or, or not as popular of a character from the back of the days of the x-force little known fact about domino i have a dog not just lemmy i have another corgi poo and uh, her name is Domino, and I named her after the X-Force character and uh, the Kiss song. If you guys are familiar with this Kiss song, Domino. That's who I thought of when I named her. So a little uh, Easter egg, if we'll call it. But I'll be lying to say if I was really excited for this Domino, probably the least exciting in the line. Uh, maybe that's just me, but here it is. Uh, this is not the interpretation of Domino I am familiar with. Uh, obviously, I did see this movie, but when I think of Domino, I have the old school X-Force Domino in my head. That's who I think of. But uh, cool nonetheless. I love the extra head. Look at all these extra accessories. Uh, I love the packaging on this. Very similar to the one we saw with Cable. You know, it's crossed out. The X-Men logo's got the Deadpool logo. Uh, wrote through the name, you know, all that fun stuff. So very cool in that aspect. Very similar with the silhouette aspect as well. Marvel Legends down there at the bottom. You got the Deadpool sticker on the top. Same thing on there. Legal on the bottom. There it is. And then the back. No file card, no explanation, no nothing. Just Marvel's Domino. That's all you're going to get. She does come with two Uzis with knives on the end. Man, that's a, that's a weapon. Uh, but very cool. I, I think they got the actress's likeness down to a T. I think this is a great, great figure representation of the character from the movie by the looks of things. But let's open it up. That's what really matters. Can I get this one open? A little stuck today. We'll get it. Oh, whoa. See you later. Got the white X background instead of the yellow we've had in a few of the other ones. See you later. And there she is inside her plastic prison. Look at that. Two head sculpts, the Uzis, the extra hands. A very small weapon. Let's pop them out here. One by one. Definitely got to uh, display her with both Uzis at the ready. I don't know how you couldn't do that. That's what it's got to be. Uh, I don't know about this little gun. It looks like it might fit in a holster. Pop her out. See you later. Tight joints. Got to love it. Nothing worse than a loose joint right out of the, uh, the package. So she does have a holster for her gun on the side. Fits right in there. Fits like a glove. No fitment issues there. Absolutely love that. Uh, it comes with two fists. She's ready to throw down. Like I said, I will change her to both of the gun hands. Uh, you guys have seen hands a million times, but I'll change her to both of these so she can hold both of these Uzis. Very cool. Got a little uh, knife on the back, on the end. Usually you see that on a big rifle. You don't see that uh, knife on the end, a bayonet or whatever. Always reminds me back to the old G.I. Joe Crimson Guard. They came that way. Uh, but your typical Marvel Legends uh, joints, knees, eh, no issues. I thought I had a bad ankle. Every once in a while, you guys know with Hasbro, they have ankle problems every once in a while. About every five series, I get one that's a mess. Um, I don't know if there's enough skin in the game on the head sculpt on this one, on the two. Uh, very similar, ba basically almost similar. One has this one that didn't come on and has kind of her goggles up there and her hairline. You can barely see it unless you're really looking for it. Uh, not a huge difference in head sculpts. I'd like to see some mouth open on one of them maybe, uh, like she's yelling or screaming. Uh, not enough skin in the game, so that's the really only downfall from that. But as far as Domino goes, I think they got the... They got the figure based on the movie down pat. This is a beautiful figure. Uh, a deep cut figure, as was most of the Deadpool 2 movie, I guess, with some of the uh, people like we're going to get to in the next unboxing here we got. But uh, I rate this Domino better than expected. This one and the Mystique from the other line are probably the two I didn't like the most. 
this domino is uh, better than expected. So you can't ask for anything more. There's nothing better when you get a figure you had low expectations for and then it uh, exceeds those expectations into, a, hey, it's a pretty good figure. Maybe not the best ever, but pretty good. And that's what I would uh, clarify this domino as. I would classify her that as a, a very good figure. We'll see. Will she fit on a ringside collectible stand? Uh, yes. Yes, she will. So there you go. Look at that. Ringside collectible stands working once again. Uh, there it is. So yeah, pick those up at Ringside Collectibles. That's uh, I always recommend it. I always talk about them. So there you go. That is Domino. Let's move on to the final two-pack. All right, next up, we got the two-pack. Like I said, we got the movie-inspired Deadpool. Very, very excited to open this one up. I think it'll be very cool. Uh, some of you guys know, I go back. Deadpool was created in my heyday of comics, reading X-Force, stuff like that. I've been a long-time Deadpool fan. I remember being shocked after getting out of the comic book game for a little while, you know, just kind of keeping an ear to the streets and the explosion and rise of popularity in Deadpool. I remember thinking that can't be the same Deadpool from X-Force back in the day. And lo and behold, it was. So Deadpool is probably one of the most iconic characters to come out in the last 20 some years. I think you ask any seven, eight year old kid out there, hey, who's Deadpool? They're going to tell you. That means something. You know, there's not a lot of superheroes that have crossed over. I mean, the, the Supermans, the Batmans, the even the X-Men. I mean, that's been a long time uh, from when those guys came out. Not a lot of current modern day or perceived modern day superheroes that broke through. And Deadpool is one of the few that have. So Deadpool plus Negasonic Teenage Warhead, who outside of the movie I had never heard of in my life. So obviously she's a later day X-Men character. I perceive she is in the comics these days. I'm uh, not really sure of her whole story. Basically, what I know about her is what I know from Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2 being with Colossus. Uh, she kind of reminds me almost of uh, Deadpool being Wolverine, and she's kind of Jubilee in the X-Men uh, comics back in the day. That's kind of what it reminds me of a little bit, but I could be totally off on that. But there it is. There is the two-pack. Like I said, Targets. I got this at uh, Amazon. Amazon came hot on a surprise Saturday night where I thought I was getting this in November. Showed up on my doorstep. So I got this via Amazon. But if you're out in the stores, you should be able to pick this up at your local Target fairly easy right now. So there it is. All the accessories in there. We've got Deadpool on the side. Negasonic Teenage Warhead on the other side. You got the Deadpool logo over the X-Men Marvel Legends there. Of course, the legal fun. And then you got the back. Two silhouette pictures. Nothing else. No story. No nothing. Uh, let's open it up. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, pull them out. So you got the white background, which we're used to with this set. See you later. Watch out, Lemmy. And there you go. I'm taking a look. There it is. There's the two-pack. Look at that extra unicorn in there. I guess I missed that. Comes with many different hands. A knife, a couple of guns, some flame-type effects. Hands, of course swords, guns, you name it, all kinds of accessories with this one. So very cool. All right, let's pop it out. Well, maybe, maybe we'll pop it out. I appreciate them when they tape the hands in, but I hate it when I'm unboxing them as it, they take forever. I'm trying to get all these hands out. My goodness. I don't know, eventually I'm going to have just boxes and boxes of hands just everywhere. You guys know we get an obscene amount of hands. Oh, this knife is all taped in. Can I get that out? Come on. A lot of work getting these out sometimes. There it is. But we appreciate it at the same time. It's a double-edged sword. You don't want... You don't want everything falling out in the package. Nothing worse, especially if you're a mid-on car guy and you have accessories that have fallen off. Ugh, nothing worse than that. And finally, oh, I dropped the hand. Very small. Found. All right, that's everything. Let me look real close. That's all the accessories. See you later. All right, let's do Negasonic Teenage Warhead first. Uh, your typical female figure, very small in stature, very small arms and legs. Kind of feels a little more breakable than some of the bigger figures, of course. She does come with open hands and closed hands. And then she has her effects. We'll stick one of these on real quick just for show and tell. Uh, cool to get effects. I always like any more effects I can get, the better. 
There she is. Very uh, X-Men inspired yellow. I think we'd all agree on that. The yellow flame effect. Uh, got the crazy hair. Got one earring in there. She does have her nose ring. You can barely see it. You got to look real close. Uh, I don't know if it'll pick it up, but there's her earring in her ear, and then she does have a nose ring. Uh, yeah, so yellow, two flame effects and that stuff. Got guns. Boy, we got a lot of stuff, but no weapons with her. Deadpool seems to have the majority of the hands. He's got every hand you'd want under the sun. Let's see if she fits on a stand. Look at that. Fits like a glove. Once again, ringside collectibles coming through. Um... And there's the Deadpool. Now, this Deadpool is solid. I love the movie Inspired. Um, it just looks different. It looks like the cartoon one, comic one, but it looks different at the same time, if, if that makes any sense. It does come with his two katana swords right there. Those will be displayed in his uh, holder in the back for me. So I put one in there, one in there. He does come with two guns already on the holster on his sides there. So two guns that weren't even in the package that are extra. Uh, we talked about that knife. It was all taped in there. But there's the knife. But he's got a sweet holster for it. Let's see. Fits like a glove in the holster. Very interesting. Snake Eyes from the G.I. Joe Classified line had a very similar holster like this for his uh, knife. Did not fit correctly. So interesting. Hasbro. Uh, one fits. One does not. Um Boy, i got to figure out the hands I want to use. And then he comes with this unicorn, just as kind of a gag. You know, typical Deadpool, just a small-scale uh, unicorn. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll uh, display him with the unicorn. Whoops, there he went. But very solid Deadpool figure. I, I absolutely love this figure. I have a feeling we'll probably get more Deadpool movie figures. Uh, they'll do a few uh, just different changes and stuff. I mean, it's definitely an easy job for Hasbro to do. Make just a couple of different accessories or a different head or two, and bam, you got a new figure. Because uh, we gotta we gotta be realistic. Deadpool is a cash cow. People are gonna want him. People will buy him. This will be a very popular set, and he fits on the ringside collectible stands as well. They all fit the whole lineup. Domino. And we already did Cable in another video, so the core movie lineup is there. Where's Colossus? Where's Juggernaut? Could we possibly get another two-pack? You guys know we got a comic-expired two-pack maybe two years ago or so. It would be really cool to get a movie two-pack of the movie edition Juggernaut and Colossus. I would be all for that. They could probably do a simple repaint of the ones they already have out. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think this line is quite dead yet, especially if there ends up being a Deadpool 3. Uh, I'm sure there probably will be. I haven't heard anything, but why would they stop with Deadpool 2? Let's keep it going. Um, so there you have it, another Marvel Legends movie-inspired unboxing, another very solid set. I say it in a lot of these videos, Marvel Legends are knocking it out of the park right now. It is the golden era with Hasbro Marvel Legends. Love what they're putting out. Uh, great characters, great figures, great uh, articulation, and great weapons and accessories, and great paint applications. Very few paint application uh, issues as of late. I applaud that. Uh, any other unbox or people that open up their packages uh, probably applaud that as well. That's a huge one for us. Nothing worse than getting one with eyes wrong or something like that. Um, so once again, another solid set. I can't recommend these highly enough. My only uh, thing I would say is you could probably play the long game on some of these, especially that Domino. You could probably get her cheaper than $25. You might be able to get her down you know, $10, $11, $12. If you play the long game, if you have the patience for that. Uh, so there it is, another Marvel Legends unboxing under our belt, the Deadpool 2 wave. Uh, in order of uh, favorites, I'm probably going to go like that. Deadpool, Negasonic, Domino, three in line. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video. Uh, leave me a comment. Are you picking these up? Did you love Deadpool 2? You playing the long game? You playing the short game? Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And as always... Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And for Domino, for Deadpool, and for Negasonic Teenage Warhead, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.